Hey, good morning. You know, the last couple of days I've been talking to you about the authority of the believer. Romans chapter 8 verse 2 says that the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me, that's me and you, free from the law of sin and death. That means the law of sin and death or the yuck that is in this world really doesn't have a right to come on you. There are laws. And it says the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. Excuse me. Now watch this. In Colossians chapter 1, it says that we have been translated out of the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. Now, we've had several people that we've known over the years that have gone into foreign countries and adopted a child, a baby, uh, a newborn, some of them a little older than that. And they brought them out of that country into this country. Now, watch this. I'm going to help you. That child that was adopted out of that poor country that didn't have but maybe one parent, didn't know who they were, that was destined to, to a life of failure, defeat, a life of having to just scrunch about in the streets. And, and I've been there and gone to the places where sometimes these children are in the dump just trying to get food. I'm talking about three and four year olds, you know, little bitty fellas just trying to survive. Well, that child was redeemed from that by a very rich family because Americans are very rich and brought to this country. Now they're no longer hungry. They're no longer in poverty. They no longer have to put up with the yuck that's down there in, you know, whatever country that child was redeemed from. Well, now get this. You've been redeemed from the yuck of the country, the kingdom of darkness. Jesus himself bore your yuck. Jesus himself bore your sicknesses. Jesus himself bore your poverty. Jesus himself bore your sin so that you're redeemed. Now, you're not just redeemed so that you can go to heaven and miss hell. You're redeemed so that on earth, Jesus said, I am come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. So I am the redeemed. You are the redeemed. Uh, I'm going to say it this way. You am the redeemed. You're not going to get any more redeemed. But you've got to begin to realize, I'm no longer a part of that old country. I'm no longer a part of that old system. I am redeemed by the blood of the Lamb and start walking in your inheritance and begin to say, I am the redeemed. Psalm says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. So you begin to confess who you are and what you are, and you don't have to put up with the yuck that the rest of the world's got to put up with. Hey, I got to go. I want you to know all day long today, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.